Morning Taste Buddies and today moussaka or moussaka. <laughs> what uh, I'm gonna do first is put the aubergines, cut the aubergines and put them in salty water to get rid of the bitterness they have and you'll see how the water, the clear water, the clean water is gonna change color and getting all this bitterness out of the aubergine. And there are two ways to get the bitterness out of the aubergine. One of them is in salty water and the other one is cut the slices, put them in the colander and sprinkle them with water. Exactly the same thing, I'm gonna do it this way today. So I'll cut the tops and the tails off and I'm gonna take a little bit of the skin off. And there are two ways to cut them. You can cut them in rings or you can cut them lengthwise. Lengthwise obviously is less time, less consuming time on the frying pan and much quicker to lay them on the tray. So ordinary peeler and just take off just some a, of it. Just, just a little bit of, that's it, okay. that's fine. Lovely. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them lengthwise because they're going to save me a lot of time. So you want about a centimeter thickness. Okay. Actually for moussaka I prefer long slices. Yeah, of I think so. Machine. If they were fritters we will do them in yeah. a different way. Yeah, yeah. So, so put them in the water. Okay. And that's your first step. Get on with the rest of them. Yep. While the aubergines are in the bowl with the water getting rid of the bitterness, we get on with the sauce. So olive oil, don't look at it like this, is new. It just came out of the olive press and it hasn't <laughs> cleared yet. So that's why it's a little bit cloudy. And chop our onions, you know, as you know, nice and fine as you make in a, a, a mincemeat sauce, as fine as you can. It doesn't matter if you leave bigger bits, it's a very rustic dish. So I'll put the onions in, and what I was saying is, many years ago, Diana did some aubergines on the barbecue, on the charcoal. We had loads of leftover, and the following day she decided to make moussaka with them, so we don't waste them. And it was amazing, it came out so good, so good. But it's a winter day today, I'm not going to go outside to grill the aubergines on the barbecue, I'm going to griddle them here. Before I burst into tears with the onion, cat. <laughs> Garlic next, yeah. Yeah, the onions are softening very nice. Yeah, so time to add our garlic. You can crush it, you can chop it, you can grate it. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Crush it. That's quite easy, yeah. That also releases more flavour, doesn't it? Crush. It does, yeah. All the juices the come out. The smaller you chop a garlic, the more mm -hmm. flavour you quite release. Right. That's quite right, my dear. I'm <laughs> oh, not just a camera woman, you know. No, no, no. You're an excellent <laughs> cook as well. Okay, garlic goes in, a little stir. Give the garlic about a minute and then add your mince. The mince I'm using is very lean because the aubergines. They're gonna, and even I'm gonna griddle them, they're gonna soak quite a bit of oil. So it's gonna be lighter if you use, obviously, if you grill them first of all, and then if you use lean mince, you don't want fatty mince on that. Alright. That goes in, get crumbly in there, yeah? Yeah, okay. i work with it for a few minutes until it becomes nice and crumbly. Now you can see how, after it's about five minutes I've been bashing and turning and you can see now how crumbly the, the meat is. Yeah. So, now is the time to put the rest of the ingredients in, which is my wine, any wine will do. I'm using rosé, because I've got plenty of it. Because you're drinking it. And I'm drinking it, so <laughs> white, red, doesn't really matter. Give a lovely flavour to the mince, mix all that in together. I've got some passata, that's going to go in. And get this little gadget, which is great. So you don't waste any. About a tablespoon or two of tomato paste. Doesn't matter. It depends how tomato you would like your sauce to be. You obviously like it quite tomato, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah, tomato and good. aubergine goes really well it's together. Lovely, it? Yeah. Cinnamon stick. Okay. Plenty of pepper, time to season the whole thing. Yeah. 
a little bit of salt and then we we'll double check later on for the seasoning just a little bit of salt give it a good stir bring all these beauties together put the lid on and that can go in the back of the stove while we now we'll go back to the aubergines okay so they've been in about half hour time to drain them oh, look at the color of the water see all the all the bitterness now is out there. That's so, yeah, the sink for that lot. get rid of that. And now, get some paper and dry them. So we've got the griddle pan on, the getting nice pan. and hot. Yep. While you're busy over there, bit of paper, drying that lot off. And dry them. Otherwise they won't go nice colour, will they? That's it. So the griddle pan is lovely and hot. So what we're going to do now is brush the aubergine to a couple at a time, spring them with some pepper. I'm not going to use salt because they've been in the salty water. Side down the oily, the oily side, carry on with the rest. Before I turn them over, good brushing, plenty more olive oil. Put more pepper on them as well. Might as well, should we? <laughs> Do it to the other side as well. <laughs> I don't know, both keep both of the same. We love pepper, so. I see you've got a bit of a conveyor belt going on there anyway. It is, yeah, and they've been oiled and ready and they're, they're drying. They're waiting, yeah, okay. They're turning. Go. In. Mm, it's quite thick, so that's going to take a while. But as you turn them, can you see they're all dry? They, they, they're drinking. Yeah, they've they're, taken they're, all the oil. They love the oil. So, don't worry about brushing them again and again. They still be a lot lighter than actually prime them, and they need the oil. Yeah. It's an oily dish. We call it oily ladero, which is an oily dish. So, cheers everybody. While this is happening, we can relax now and say cheers. And thank you once again for being a part of the Taste Buddies. Subscribe, share, like, love. Thank you for everybody who's already subscribed. You don't need to subscribe again. Once you're subscribed, you're in. That's it. Part of the family. Okay, okay, the mint is coming along lovely. It's coming lovely and it's almost, there's no juices there. We don't want any juices there, obviously. So look at it, it's almost dry okay. and it's cooked through and everything. All right. So I give it a couple of more minutes. Take the lid off um, when you cook it, so all the steam eventually will evaporate. evaporate. Our first lot of aubergines is ready. Right. Make sure they have a lovely color and they're soft. Right? Really soft. They have to be cooked all the way. And they look amazing. And serve in washing up straight in your baking tray, in your moussaka tray. Okay. And I'll show you what to do with them. So you don't need to oil that, obviously. No, no oil on that. Okay. No. Let me put the next lot in. All right. Keep it going. They do take Lots it. of people put potatoes in the moussaka. Oh. We don't. No, you can't do it. You can't do it. Lots of people put potatoes because it makes it more filling for a big family. You know, it's more cheaper than a big It's a little bit cheaper. Yeah. And, but we don't. We never have done. I like a few chips maybe. With the, but I don't want the, the stodge, if you like, of the potato with the bechamel sauce on the same dish. And the way to do them is to overlap them. So go halfway, actually overlapping nutmeg. one another. A lovely Push fresh nutmeg. Because you're going to use some of the nutmeg in the bechamel as well. Okay. Uh, cheese. I like cheese in layers. So cheese on the aubergines, cheese on the mince, cheese in the bechamel, plenty of cheese. This is kefalotiri, by the way. You can use pecorino, you can use parmigiano, and a little bit of oregano. Lovely fresh oregano from the garden. Beautiful. So it's parsley, lots of parsley. And then bring the mince here. This is the kind of consistency we're looking for. Okay. We don't want much juice in there. And the neck is going to go there now. So that's why you cooled it down a little, eh? I cooled it down a bit, yeah. yeah. So the egg doesn't uh, scramble in it. And that will help that to set, yeah? Mix it well, yeah. Okay. And also, I have a little taste. Mm, for 
for seasoning and stuff. I think it needs a little bit more salt. Remember what the doctor said? Yeah, only a little bit. <laughs> Don't tell the doctor. <laughs> Because we've got cheese, it's got cheese is gonna go on as yeah, well, exactly. which is quite. Yeah, okay. So now R2. Spatula out. Spatula out. Nice even layer everywhere. And little sprinkle of cheese on the top of that. More cheese. Cheese in every layer. <laughs> <laughs> that gives a beautiful It takes beautiful the flavours on there, doesn't it? Yeah. It goes lovely with mince, it goes lovely with everything. And Put the butter in first. What I need to tell you now about this bechamel sauce is a variation of the classic white bechamel sauce. And in Greece, when we do moussaka or pasticcio, we use eggs because we want the bechamel to set. We are having three layers. When you actually serve the dish, we have three layers. We have the aubergine, we have the mince, and we have the bechamel on top. We don't want everything to collapse together. So that's why we're going to use a bit of egg. But otherwise, it's exactly the same white sauce, like everybody does. So butter, melt the butter first, with a couple of egg yolks, and add them to the milk. That will all, except the setting, is gonna give you a nice, beautiful um, color also. The flour goes in, and stir. So this is what I'm looking for, a nice, thick, cool, let it simmer for um, about a minute, so it gets a nice brown colour. And you want to cook the flour off as well, don't you? You don't want it to taste like raw flour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. start adding your milk, a little bit at a time. And carry on stirring. So look, that thickens up, so I need a little bit more milk, because that thickens up quite a lot. And if it does that, I just add a little bit more milk. Yeah. So, see these bubbles coming up? Yeah. So when you see that, that's ready. Okay. Turn the fire off. So you're going in with some uh, more nutmeg, yeah? Lovely nutmeg. nutmeg. Yeah, lovely nutmeg. They love each other, don't they? Cheese. White pepper. and a pinch of salt. And a pinch of salt. Literally. Oh, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> the oven is warming up beautifully there, waiting for this treasure. So what number did you put it on? 190. You can so the bechamel is on. Give it a nice good tap. So Settle it all down, yeah. And then, of course, a little bit more cheese. Yep. And a little bit more nutmeg, which is going to give a beautiful colour. Oh, and that's and the oven. Oh, what a fantastic Letting you know timing. that it's at the right what a fantastic temperature. Timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So, our moussaka is assembled, is ready, is beautiful, and it goes in the oven. So I'll see you all later. Can't wait. In the middle. 190 and away we go. When you're thinking, when you're dreaming of Greece, coming to Greece, what do you think? What are you thinking about? What are you dreaming about? Blue skies, blue seas, Zoba the Greek, chilled wine, ouzo, souvlaki, tzatziki, and this. You can't come to Greece and not try a moussaka. Or, as we say, moussaka. Look at that, perfect. Lovely. If you're going to eat it on the day, then leave it for a couple of hours. Otherwise it's going to collapse, you won't taste it, you have to leave it to set. Ideally, the next day, you can eat it the next day. We're having people coming tomorrow, so we cooked it the day before, previously. And we're going to enjoy tomorrow with a couple of friends that are coming for a special dinner. So we'll see you all tomorrow for the taste of our best moussaka ever. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back everybody. Here we are. Yeah, we are yeah. The next day, you know, with our <laughs> friends, as we said, we're going to share the moussaka. So welcome. 
Yamas, 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 Yamas. You should have got that one. <laughs> so, are you ready to eat? Oh, I think are so. You ready? Are you ready to eat? <laughs> yes, okay. definitely. This beauty has been in all day, and as I said yesterday. The... Oh. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Mm. I hope you're hungry, guys. <laughs> Lovely. Shannon, will you help yourself to potatoes and I salad, will. darling? Thank you. Thank you. That's Wonderful. Wonderful. It's lovely. Ready? <laughs> Hungry? <laughs> yeah. Good boy. And. <laughs> Take and, two. And, and, <laughs> and serving my old mate here. <laughs> so I've known him for forever. 40 years. 40 years. I'd like to say goodbye to everybody and thank you for watching us and see you on our next video. Cheers, taste Cheers. buddies. Yamas. Bye, Yamas. Yamas. And do the musaka. Yes. Do it. It's fantastic. Superb. Superb.